Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the spotlight caches and what it means going forward as a player, what it means going forward as a free-to-play player and what is the best way that you can make use of the system to best suit your needs because it is going to be, there's a lot of questions. Everyone is kind of frantically scrambling to find the most efficient way of using this to their advantage and I don't blame you cards in Marvel Snap are relatively difficult to obtain some are very expensive um, if you want to buy them and for that reason it is important that you guys do know the best way to go forward here because there's a lot of different theories a lot of different uh, misconceptions about how this is going to work and I'm here to try and explain how it works I know people have discussed this a lot for quite a while now this is not exactly anything new but I think there is a couple of tips and tricks in this video which you might find pretty useful so let's discuss what everything does and how it works so for those who don't know how it works currently in Marvel Snap, once you get to collection level 1000, every four reserves you unlock, you will get one guaranteed series three, random series three card. Every 500 levels on average, you will be guaranteed to get one series four card, which is quite a lot. And then there's no guarantee on series five. It took me till collection level 7,000 to get my first series five card out of a reserve, which was How the Duck, which is kind of insane. Now with this new system, there are gonna be pros and cons. So basically, every week, the developers are going to put four cards in um, rotation, which you will unlock in a spotlight cache. A spotlight cache will be a special cache, which you will unlock every 120 collection levels. So for every 10 reserves you unlock, one of them will be a spotlight cache. In that spotlight cache, in this example, so this will be, I believe, next week's spotlight cache, there'll be a 25% chance of getting Jean Grey, a 25% chance of getting Null, and a 25% chance of getting Living Tribunal, and a 25% chance of getting a random series 4 or 5 card. Now, every week there'll be one of the new cards. So every week in Marvel Snap, they release one of the they release a new card. So one of those four cards will be guaranteed to be one of the new cards. The other two will be cards the developers have decided they're gonna be featured that week, and then one of them will be random which means to get every card that's in the reserve, you will have to open four spotlight caches to guarantee get the one you want. Now, you might be lucky, you could get on the first um, first spotlight cache, which means you only need to unlock 10 reserves, or you might be unlucky and you know, let's say you wanna get Jean Grey, you only get it on the fourth spotlight cache, which means you'll need to unlock 40 reserves, which is obviously almost like 500 collection levels. So for that reason, you gotta be smart with how you use this. The best way I think to do this is to hoard your caches for when it's series five cards that you might want because series five cards are expensive so for example the next month or this month we're going to get gene gray which will be a series five card next week then after that, we're going to get legion echo which will both be series four cards series four cards are cheaper to obtain than series five cards if you're still following me here then that means that you will obviously understand that series that, that, that it, it series five cards will cost six thousand series four cards will cost three thousand tokens in my opinion the best way to do this will be to hoard your caches so don't unlock your reserves don't use them until there is a series five card you want to obtain. Then open your reserves until you get that series five card. On average, it's probably going to take you um, two or three reserves to get it. If you're unlucky, you'll take four. If you're lucky, you'll take one. And then if there's a series three card you really, really want to get and you have tokens for it, buy the series three card with tokens, collector's tokens, directly from the shop. And don't bother with the reserves. Keep the reserves till another week until you have a card or cards you really want to get. And then open them again. I would recommend only using the reserves on series five cards since series five cards are a lot more expensive. You can buy the series three cards because they're cheaper and hoard to get the series five cards because it's more efficient that way. That is probably the most efficient way to do it. Generally speaking, with the system, it is better to hoard for the cards you want rather than continuously opening reserves. Because if you continuously, as a free to play player, you will unlock about 10 reserves every week. If you play without spending money and you just play the game naturally every day, you will unlock about 10 um, reserves every week, which is enough for one spotlight cache. So every week of playing, you will unlock one random series four or five card. But if you hoard those to the reserves, let's say for a whole month, you will have now four spotlight caches, which means in the next coming month, you'll guarantee if you want it, you can get every card in a, in a, in a featured week's res, uh, spotlight cache reserves. Again, I think the best way to do this when it comes to series five cards, open your reserves for series five cards and use collector's tokens for series three cards. And then hoard those weeks where you spend tokens, hoard reserves, and then open your reserves when it comes to series five cards again. So it's going to be this constant, basically, opening reserves hoarding opening reserves hoarding if a week comes by and you say okay none of these cards interest me or i have most of these cards then you can go okay i'm gonna hoard this week and the next week comes oh i've got all these cards i'm gonna hoard again the week after that comes mm, I, I, I really want that series three card 
I, I have some tokens. I'll buy the card with tokens and I'll hoard again. And the week after you go, oh shit, this week has Dark Hawk plus this new Series 5 card I really want to get. Let me use all my reserves now. And that is going to basically give you this, this way to kind of control how you unlock cards the way you want to unlock cards. So it's important to note this, this system comes with a downside. The downside is you're going to get a lot less collector's tokens. In the old system, if you look here, you would get about 4,000 tokens and 800 gold and 4,000 credits to get in the same time you get the spotlight cash. Now you're only going to get 400 tokens and they've completely removed gold. What this means for you is your ability to choose cards from the token shop and to buy bundles is going to be severely limited, which means you will no longer be able to buy cards that you want directly as easily anymore. It'll be a lot more difficult to obtain cards from the token shop. It'll be a lot harder to buy bundles, which sounds bad, but again, you are going to get more from the system. You will get more cards which is ultimately what you want but you lose a little bit of the choice you're going to kind of have to get what you what what they give you but if you hoard your caches correctly and you use your caches the way um smartly you get choice again you will have the ability to hoard and open when it suits you to kind of pick and choose how you or when you get your cards which gives you some agency again but again you need to be disciplined with your reserves you need to not just open them as you see them because if you just open them as you see them then you're not really then you're just gambling and you're not going to get the most of this the developers don't really want you to be hoarding caches so expect them to tweak the system if they see everyone doing what i'm ex what i'm recommending now there's a good chance the developers after a month or two are going to say okay we're going to tweak the system again and they might try and make it so you don't have as much agency anymore because they don't like it when you hoard so don't expect this trick i guess you could call it to work forever because again the developers are going to be constant they, they have said that they might change it as time goes on so it, it will it is subject to change um the new system what it means for you is also if you do already have the card so let's say you i've already got null if you were going to unlock null you will now unlock a very in my opinion actually a very cool variant you can see the variant here um all the same the tribunal gene gray or whatever you'll unlock one of these variants instead of the card itself anyway the point is you will no longer have as many tokens as you would did before so you you can't rely on your tokens to buy cards in the shop anymore. You won't have as much gold. In return, you will be getting a lot more free cards, but they'll be random. You can try take away the randomness by hoarding your your um, reserves, and then you can kind of choose, but you need to do it smartly because, again, you, if you're a free-to-play player, you're only going to unlock one reserve um, or one spotlight reserve every week, 10 reserves every week, but one spotlight cash every week. So use the downtime or the time where you already have the cards or you don't in, not interested in the cards to hoard and then open them as you, see. as you can see here i'm already starting to hoard i've got a couple of reserves um that i haven't opened because when the system when the system comes out i want to get um some spotlight caches and open them up and get gene gray immediately when it comes out so i am starting to hoard just like this so you can still use your credits you can still upgrade cards just don't open these reserves until it is time to un either unlock a, that series five card you really want to get your hands on or maybe there's a bunch of things in a reserve you really want maybe there's thanos and dark hawk all in um a spotlight cache and you really want to get those cards then you use it and then when it's weeks where you don't really care you hoard or you use your collector's tokens to buy maybe a series three or a series three sorry a series four card you might not have which will cost you 3,000 tokens, and then you hoard in the meantime, and then open them when you need them. Anyway, I hope this video helps you. I hope this clarifies some of the misconceptions with this new system. Um, it is going to definitely be an improvement, but it's also going to be a regression in some ways. Overall, it's an improvement, but you know there is a bit of give and take, so make sure that you guys do use the system to your advantage, and try to get the most of it with, by using the things I discussed in this video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys again next time. Take care, everyone, and bye-bye.